I left the city. My friend Claire, um, she's got insomnia, you know, menopause. <laughs> um, and so we decided to change our plan to next week. Hopefully I'll feel like going into the city next week because um, I feel like today when I left the city, I was like, okay, this is it. Um, but we can always meet like somewhere in the country. She lives in the country, so she likes to go to the city. But I was sitting there waiting for her and feeling like, damn, you know, I could have gone out in the woods today. So then I just hurried myself out to the woods. <laughs> We're hunting morels. I've got a spot and I'm taking you to I it. I don't know about you, but I get scared of going under trees. I always want to go like up and around, but I'm not really seeing an up and around. And I'm not seeing a lake. Yeah, so I have to go under. Oh. It's okay. It's not like it's going anywhere. Whew. I mean, and just me being here, like right here, it could shift, right? Okay, let's just do it. Here we go. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, littles, let's keep going. Just spotted some Liberty Caps. I think that's what they are. But um, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Bunch of fresh mustard greens. We'll grab these on the way out. It'll make some good healthy greens. I'm hoping to find a few nettles here. I'm gonna start strolling along this little water embankment. Got some May apple. A few weeks ago, we saw some fruiting May apple. Aww. My little water dog. trail here but I can't make my way through there. Oh it's too tough. We're gonna have to go back up on the trail and around. A lot of trees down. Probably the high winds. Under coyote, maybe? I'm on another deer trail and I'm walking away from the water, which I tend not to enjoy. I like to be by the water. Um, but this trail is luring me in. It's just such a definitive animal trail. Again, that's not deer. That's a big print. Let's see. Hold it. <laughs> well, that's a big one. Let's look around. That's actually pretty darn big. Hmm. Interesting. That looks a little bit like bear. We're going to go in a little bit more and we're going to talk. <laughs> I didn't bring my bells with me because I thought it was a little early for this. All right. I was just looking here, thinking what a nice home this would be all tucked away. And then I saw that.
Cool. All right, let's continue to follow this deer trail. Definitely want to get some mustard before I leave. There's so much and I don't have that many greens. Mustard's like a little spicy. Come on, buddy. I, I, I. I'm pretty far back on this trail here. Okay. No, littles, you can't eat it. It's like spring onions. Mmm, smells good. Oopsies. I want to get some more mustard. Yummy. I think this is going to be enough. I think we have a good amount of mustard, probably for a couple of days. You can always cook it. Put it in the fridge and have it for tomorrow and the next day. It's not like I could have too much. All right, I'm not gonna take any more from this patch. Best to leave the rest and find another patch so you move along, you don't clear a patch out. A nice little bunch here for dinner. All right, let's go, bud. I like being back here because there's not dog pee pee on it. So this is, mustard greens are really healthy and they're a bit spicy. They're like, they're mustardy. It's starting to notice the wind picking up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna mosey on out. It's time to leave the canopy. That was fun. A tiny bit overheated, moving kind of slow. I'm looking forward to the mushrooms popping up. There there was none, but I did get some greens. I know about this morel spot because I used to live in this neighborhood back here. I'm gonna pull in and show you. It was such a cute little neighborhood. so friendly there's a bunch of families like the one on the right here this house it's all one family there's like four houses that is one family oh look here she is okay so this I can't remember her name anymore but she was the keeper of the neighborhood if I go down the end and make a left she'll come down this road chasing us but I'm not gonna check I'm not gonna test it out She's a spitfire. She must be in her 80s. She might even be in her 90s at this point. Let's see, I wonder if she'd remember us. Once in a while, the kids will come with me, uh -huh. but it's small in here. Yeah. It's really for one person, you know? So you I do. They've, they've come and met me, and then I bring a tent, uh -huh. and they sleep in the tent. Okay. Yeah. really nice. 
place, the house that we were living at backs up to the, the river here. It's down there. So you go down here and then there's the river. It was just such a lovely place to live. So all of the mustard is edible. I'm de-stemming and I'm also using some of the stem, but the tender only because the ends here are not so tender. I can, I can see that. So I'm just nipping it off. And then I'm going up to where it's a little softer. And then I'm chopping it up. Yeah, and mustard's a little bit spicy. Garlic mustard, that's what this is, garlic mustard. It's not as nutritious as nettles, but um, you can eat it raw. You don't have to cook it, but I'm gonna blanch it. Especially since I'm cutting up a lot of these stems here that are a little tough. So I chopped up the mustard grains and I chopped up the garlic, the wild garlic. And um, I'm going to saute it, like I said, with a little bit of olive oil. Maybe butter. Maybe butter. Maybe the goat butter. Ooh. I still have some of that goat butter left. And I'll add a little, I don't know what, maybe a little, what should I add to it? What do you think? Maybe a little sumac. Oh, that sounds nice. We'll do a little sumac. I don't think we need to do too much. Some pepper. Today we're in a canopy that I've been in before, but I haven't been on this particular trail. And in fact, it's kind of like a little bit hidden. And I saw someone come on this trail. Right off the bat, I found a vertebrae. Come find it, littles. I'm not going to go on an animal trail today, but look at that canopy. And that is the back of a very large park. So this is very, very vast. It's just coming into spring, so it, it doesn't look so alluring. But trust me, it is. Careful, littles. Littles is down there. I'm not going to attempt to go down. It's a little too hard for me. This is what the fuzzy fern looks like. Like when it opens. Every canopy I've been in so many trees are down. I hate going under these trees. Ugh. This is definitely, and I need to remember this, my favorite place to hike in Maryland. This is my absolute favorite. There's no one here. There's no sounds of airplanes or lawnmowers. Um, I think why I never come here though is because foraging here is a little challenging in regards to mushrooms. I don't tend to, to find many here, but 
I've never been on this side and I'm seeing lots of potential. It's quite moist over here. And there's lots of trails that are going off. Whereas on the other side, it's just a narrow trail. And then there's this like very high peak. Whew. All right. I'm taking you to see this waterfall. encourage everyone enough to get hiking shoes. It's nothing like having dry feet and stepping in the water. <laughs> yeah, these shoes, these are Danners and they are the best. So we were down there on that trail and I was looking up and I thought of coming up here, but I was like, no, this is where the animals are. I'm not seeing any animal tracks. This just looks like an old explored trail. Wow, this is really pretty. It's a nice overhang there. It's like a nice bouldering spot. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm seeing the chalk. Is that chalk? Maybe? Seems like it would be a great bouldering spot. No, that's not chalk. It runs all the way down. It's the iron or something. Yeah, there's another trail right there. Look, at, there's an animal trail. I just, I just caught that. It doesn't look very big. It's a great spot. You can hear the water. Hmm. The last couple of days I've been doing a lot of um, pushing myself to go up inclines because I've been reducing pushing myself and I don't think that's a good thing. I think I need to start pushing myself again. I've been living in fear and I need to stop living in fear. The problem is when I don't live in fear, it results in what happened yesterday, which was I was like, oh my God, I'm going down. I'm gonna start throwing up. The pain was so bad, but um, yeah. I don't know, I'm not living. I'm not living as, as like adventurous and I, I need that. I need to push myself. I need to get up hills. <laughs> I need to get up mountains. Is something biting me? Ow, something is biting me. What is that? Hmm. Something very small. Can't see, so I think I know what that is. We're getting there. Look. We did it. <laughs> could go further. We could keep going. I don't know. I feel like I'm now really pushing myself and I need to stop. So I'm probably just going to look around here for some mushrooms, maybe some morels. I see a sycamore. I see some ashes. Let's see. Y'all, I'm having a hard time stopping. This is my problem. I'm doing okay, but I was doing okay yesterday and then I got back to the van and I started to not be doing okay but um, it's just so pretty. And the, the trail, it just keeps going and going. And it's, there's something about being on an animal trail. Like I get this sensation that like I'm gonna, or this feeling, I intellectually feel 
Oopie. Like, um, like I'm going to see something or experience something that no one else has because I'm off trail. Um, yeah, and I'm always really careful about staying on the animal trails because I don't want to pave new paths and disrupt the forest floor. Beautiful orchid patch here. They're gonna be everywhere. I'm gonna keep coming back here at least once a week. And I'm gonna see all the beautiful things happening. What is it? Why are you growling at me? You wanna go in the water? You're hot. Yeah. Some beautiful little violets. What the heck is that? Little's just rolled in it. What is that? Another thing to mention is animals poop on trails. It's like marking a territory. So, you know, that's like them saying, this is my pathway. When I crossed that little area, I smelled, I have, there was a lot of smells. Ouch. So I'm thinking that was a little poopy area. We just heard a kind of snort and it sounded like it came from my right, but I can't hear in my left ear. So it's hard for me to know where sounds are coming from, but it was behind us and it was like a snort. It was a weird sound. Animal sounding like, I don't know, it was like deep. I'm driving through these country roads and I'm looking at these beautiful houses. They look like a summer colonial, summer, um, log cabins and I'm near the Pennsylvania line I'm kind of like driving along it I go through these struggles of like I try I, I fight it like when it comes up for me but I just wish so much that I had a farm I feel like I just sometimes I just feel like I did it all wrong I pursued the wrong career my whole life like it's just all wrong yeah when I talk about it I can almost cry <laughs> um but then I you know it's like can't do that you know, these are the choices I made. This is the path and the direction that I chose to go. I chose to r ride motorcycles, which really changed my life. I mean, I probably could do, I could probably build s something for myself, go live on a farm or something if I hadn't ridden motorcycles. That's really what the foundation of all my problems are. Turn left onto Schaefer Mill Road. But, you gotta keep a positive attitude. And um, you know, this is my life. This is what I can afford. I can't afford a house and I can't physically work a property. So, and I'm very lucky. I've got a beautiful van. I've got two healthy children. I'm incredibly blessed, you know, <laughs> incredibly blessed. Okay, like this is like dreamy. That, can I have that? Oh, look at that. They've got a brook going, a couple of brooks going through their property. I mean, this, that is just that, wow. Crazy stuff is happening. I'm drinking a ton of milk. <laughs> and my mama got me a treat. These are so good. Little marshmallow s'mores. And this milk you know is good. I've been, I've been, um, I'm drinking it right out of the bottle. I mean, you know, there's no one else here but me. Hi, buddy. There's a turkey vulture on the roof. Hi. 
Hi.